in this video, we'll be hunting a box of pennies, as well as seeing if we can make any additions or upgrades to the Hunt and Fill series. We'll of course be looking for any wheat cents from 1958 or older. We'll also be looking for any foreigns, proofs, airs, varieties, or any other cool things we can find, as well as pulling aside any copper and seeing how much we can fill the copper jar. I do only have one box for this video, but I am excited to hunt it because we will be adding to the album before I even open the rolls, because we have an addition that is an ender. Right here, we have a 1936S, which is going to be an addition for the album. Only 29 million minted, so that is an awesome ender. A really good sign for the box. Hopefully, we have more additions in here. So, let's start the hunt, and I'll bring you in when we have our first find. Just opened row 5, and I see the edge of the first wheat scent of the box right here. And it looks a little worn, probably from the 40s or earlier. And it's from the 30s. That's an awesome way to start the box. 1936 out of Philly. Doesn't look like the DDO. Pretty common date. We do already have it in the album. But still, that's a great way to start. Roll 9. And we have the first Canadian scent of the box. I will be bringing you in for the Canadian since I'm just going to do a one box hunt for this video. And this Canadian is a 1983. Roll 11 was that 1936S Sweet Scent Ender. Don't see anything else in the roll, but here it is. Definitely a 1936S. Definitely will be going in the album, and this will be the new lowest mintage wheat scent in the album. With only 29 million minted, which is awesome. And it didn't get the ring of death too bad. Just a little mark on Lincoln's shoulder there, but overall pretty nice for being an ender. That is an amazing find. Roll 15, and I see the edge of the third wheat scent of the box right here. Hopefully we can continue the trend of older ones, but this one doesn't look too old, probably from the 40s or 50s, and it is just a 1946 Denver. Next roll, and I see the edge of yet another wheat set, which will be wheat set 4 of the box near the beginning of the roll, and this one is a 1951 Denver. Just opened roll 18, and I see the edge of wheat set number 5, and... It looks pretty old by the edge so far. Yeah, it looks a little bit worn. Probably going to be an older one. Hopefully one for the album. And it's just a 40s and early 40s. 1941 out of Philly. Obviously you don't need that one, but still, wheat scent number 5. Roll 32, and the box did kind of get cold for a long streak there. Not even a Canadian or anything, but I did just uncover another wheat scent. This one is 1949, out of Philly, wheat scent number 6. Just opened roll 35, and I see the edge of wheat scent number 7, right here. And this one is 1946, Denver again. Roll 38, and I just uncovered wheat scent number 8 of the box, and it is just a 1956, Denver. Roll 48, the box did get a little cold again for a little bit, but we do have the second Canadian of the box, finally. We usually get about 8 to 10 Canadians a box, and this is only number 2, and we're pretty much done, which is pretty odd. But this Canadian is in 1973. Penny box has been hunted, so let's go over the finds. Did only end up with two 1959s, and then we had 11 estimates and 19 2009s. Only two foreigns for the whole box, which was pretty surprising, a lot less than I thought. Just two Canadians, a 73 and an 83. And then no miscellaneous finds, and then the wheat cents, we ended up with eight. Two of them being pre-40s, a 1936 Philly, and that 1930 success, which was an ender, and I know is going to be an addition. And then lastly, for copper, for one box, we did pretty good, about a third of the copper jar. Not too bad for one box. So, I know we already have at least one addition, so let's see if we have any additions or upgrades for the album, and I'll bring you back with an album update. Just finished adding everything and upgrading to the Hunt and Fill album, and we did actually end up having two additions in this hunt, I thought we only had one. The one I knew was that 1936 S with 29 million minted, and I did look, this is the new lowest mintage coin in this album, which is awesome. Glad we found it in this hunt, and it was an Ender 2. What are the chances? And the other addition we had was this 1949 Philly. Not a rare date at all, but we do need a lot of Phillies in the 40s and 50s, so that is another good upgrade. 
And then we also had a couple of upgrades in the Memorial Sense, which I won't mention. And then one upgrade in the Wheat Sense did upgrade the 1951 Denver. The old one did have a little bit of environmental damage on it, so glad to upgrade that one as well. So two additions and a few upgrades with one box. Definitely a really successful one box hunt to the Hunt and Fill series.